So the market gapped up as I as I thought that it would, and we should rally today. Size of the rally, I don't know. I'm not going to be overly concerned about it. We do have two things to watch today, and I, I'm going to have them both up. I think I'm going to keep Cody up as a main one, though. Um, it just doesn't have a super big target, but that's okay. And then I'll have Momo here in the middle. I don't. I'm not in crazy, crazy, crazy about any of these gaps. Um, they're okay, okay? They rank good enough to do to watch, but I'm not like super in love with any of them. So I think we just play them as one short move and out today. Um, the market should be bullish, but I don't know how bullish, and I really wouldn't until we see how we trade out on the day. We're gonna have some time I think we have a problem getting through this entire bar here. If we get through half this bar today, which would be up here, 142.50-ish, that even if we get to 143 today, there'd be a huge turnaround for the market to have in one single day. <clears throat> so SPY uh, targets 245, which I think we could get to today. Okay. So again, not crazy about any of these symbols here today but think we can get a trade um, and and just get a quick move a little bit of a spread in this momo so I just so you know I have this in the middle the main watch I'm gonna have up as the COTY um, the targets really 17 not a spready um, still rates good um, I think we can get a decent entry in this I looked at everything today, longs and shorts. I think we just continue to be very careful here all the rest of this week and next week, and I have to figure out the holiday schedule, which I'll figure out by the weekend for the Labor Day. But, you know, it, it does feel a little bit like summer in here because I think we're going to have maybe two days this week we get some runners, but it, it ha it's not yet. It's clearly not today. And there were some things that were names that I was watching this morning. They just didn't work in our favor. And they're not good longs either. So they gapped up and they're not good longs. Uh, they may work today because of the market, but as you know, we prefer to short. So let's just see what we can get. Any other picks? RDFN, I don't, doesn't have enough information. Uh, data, Barry. CMCM, I don't like as much as these two things. Journey Woman. BZUN, I didn't like. And DSN is too thin. You could watch Fran for a continuation gap today if you feel inclined. Possibly even Foot Locker. TDU. Got like one second here. Again, all these look very, very similar. I mean, they, they, these all look very similar. It's just not enough data. I mean, I don't have time to read it. And it doesn't, it's, that doesn't look any better than the two things we're watching. There's nothing great today. I think we get a play. That's it. Great if we could just get one setup in here and take it down to 17. Be done. Okay, this isn't open. Hey, here's 
Where's Momo? Hey, Crap, this is flipping and Momo is going. Okay, I just flipped over to Momo. Man, okay. Okay, there's nothing you can do here. Just this is look at this. Okay. <sighs> okay, I did not call this in here. The stop is way too big. So let's see if we can get a setup in that. I don't know. I, that, that, that looked like it was going to do something, and now it's just way too crazy. All right, I'm back to COTY now. Forty-seven by ninety COTY. Forty-seven by ninety. It doesn't look like it's moving. Momo's just selling off. Let's do 50 by 90, C-O-T-Y. Gosh, is this moving? What the heck? Momo's just going. Is it just me or COTY not moving? Okay, we're gonna do 50 by 85 now. 50 by 85 COTY. What the heck? It's open. The price is not moving. It's stuck at this number now for the last two minutes. It's weird. If this doesn't do anything, I'll flip back to Momo, but I didn't I didn't do that on the break because it was just way too big of a stop. 50 by 85 is valid if this moves. And I would not jump the gun in this because it's weird that it's not moving. Here, take it right now. Get it in. Get in right now. Put the stop. 85. 1785. This better hold. And I'm not giving this any more rum. Nope. 17.85 and done for COTY. That was really weird though. I think this goes. I think this goes. Be in it if you want it. Momo's just falling over. Yeah, let's just take it off. Done with that thing. There's nothing to do. Uh, it's just an annoying. Here, COTY. Um, so the target's 17. Crap. Wait, what has happened here? Oh, that looked good. Damn it. No, make sure the stop's in at 85. What just happened here? No, I think this was the open. No, we're out. We're out. 
be out of it. I just got stopped out. No, I think this was a late open. I think this was the open of the stock. That's why it was trading that way. Gosh darn it. No, I don't think that was open. Man, oh man, does that make me upset. Here, I'm not, I'm not giving up my day. We just took a stop on that. I think that was the open. I think it opened at 9.35. Man, does that annoy me. Ugh. Here, go to Momo. We're making money today. That really pisses me off. No, that was the open. It doesn't matter the volume. We sat there. We watched it. It was weird. That stock opened five minutes late. I've been doing so good with seeing those two. Here, Momo. We're going to do a short in Momo. I, I, I don't know where. Just move it over. Uh, that, that was just annoying. If you did the Momo, Mark, I'd be out. It's going to bounce back. Nope, that stock opened five minutes late. There should be rules and regulations and guidelines for that. It should not be allowed to do that. That it just really, really, really stinks. All right, let's pay attention here, Momo. No, it wasn't moving. It wasn't moving, and it wasn't open. Man, does that, there should be regulations. They should not be allowed to open the stock whenever they feel like it. Okay, we're gonna do 75 by 50, Momo. And do not take this until it hits. And this is kind of a big stop. 75 by 50, but I think it's gonna hold us in. And if it pushes back, then all the better. Black, let's do 89 by 60 now. 89 by 60. Here, get it. Momo, put the stop in 60. 60, 60, 60. We, we, we may not get anything else today. So get, do this if you want it. Do it right in here. It's already gone. It broke a little bit early. This really is so annoying. Look, that was the open there. Here, be in it, be in it. Be in it if you want it. Where are we going to go? 38. 38 and see if we can get something in this down past that. If not, I'm out. Let's double check the stop. I'm really trying to just find a way in here and we'll go over it when we're done because of the fact that I didn't, I didn't want to do this. I saw it. I could have done it. I just didn't want to do it. Okay. Stop is 39.60. If you did this, if you're in it, you're in it. We got to get it through the low. Stop is 38, and I gave it a wide stop in case this pushes back because I'm just trying to find a way to get in it. But this could just fall over the, like uh, the other one did the other day, Foot Locker, like yesterday. Just fell right on over. Nope, that stock did not open until five minutes later. Gosh darn it. It's like a waste. And this got my spready here. Just saw 11 cents. All right, keep it at 60, but I might change. I might get a little more room to spread all of a sudden. It was just 11, 12 cents in there. I sized it for a 10 cents cushion. I don't know. There it is again. Just widened up again. Let's keep it at 60. I knew something was wrong with that. I kept saying, is it open, is it open? For a second, I thought it was halted. It just really, really makes my blood boil. Let's look at the market. Hey, the market's along. Look at this. Look at this. We're almost at the target for the day in the SPY. Market is along. So I could have called the market long. If we could go long the market if I feel like it. I hope this works though. It'd be a lot easier. I think this has a big target if it goes. And 
And I like the way it traded in the morning. So we can do, we can add if you want to. Here, it's going to hit again. 12 by 60, Momo. Here, it just hit through. Here, I didn't even get a chance to take more. If you want it, I'm already in it. It would have pulled the price up though. Here it goes. Momo, Momo, Momo. We're going to get a trade today, but that was just so, it was just like a waste. It's a waste. All right, let's see where we're going here. 38 is realistic. 38. Thirty-seven fifty. Thirty-seven. Not wasting any time today. We have to. We I knew we had to get a trade early today because the market. But we actually could have gone on the market. The market's holding extremely well. Here we go, Momo, Momo. Let's try to get a dollar out of Momo if we can. It'll make up for the other one, but that's just, I don't know what to do about that. This isn't, I mean, I, I just don't. I've been really, really good about seeing that all year. Here we go, Momo. Uh, seeing when those things are right, there was something there about that, but then I thought, I thought it was actually gonna collapse because it was holding the price. I thought it was gonna quick sell off, and then when it broke, here, Momo. I should have took more. Here, this is gonna go to 38, but this is, I. you just feel like, why? They shouldn't be allowed to do that. No, they should not be allowed to do that. And you can't even tell anymore with the volume. You just can't. I mean, there was volume in here, but the price stuck, the stuck price, the stuck price, stuck price, stuck price, stuck price. The stock opened at 934. And here it's gonna go. You could do this if you want. Forget it. Here, Momo! Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, who's in Momo with me? Who did what? This is it. This is all we're going to get today. Market's already gone. I can maybe put, call along on it here if it pulls back. You could have taken more of this. I did not do it. It hit, this, this ad just hit too quickly. Jordan Women did both? Good. Mary did Momo and Cody. Yeah. Cody. This was my first watch today, but then the, you guys were giving me ideas, and then I thought, you know what, I, sh I don't want to miss anything because, but I didn't want to do this. This was way too big of a stop. I should have just stuck with the one that I first liked this morning, which was this. Glad this is working though. Okay, so you could have gotten out of some there. I'm not going to, okay? This is broken, Mark is rallying. And target, like I said, for the spy was 245. Just a very swift lift, very quick lift. Baba had another rally today. Again, here's her second day, a chance to get out of this with profit for those of you that are in the option. This really is going to go to 180, though, by the time I called it. Okay, Momo. Momo! Momo. Gosh, I wish I would have taken more. It's too far away from the price. Here, Momo. Here, it's just going. 37.50. Do you think we get it down to 37.50? Yeah, I'm sure Cody will work. It did not open at 9.30 or 9.31 or 9.32. It opened at 9.34. I don't know how they're allowed to get away with that crap. I just don't. <laughs> oh, Big Fudge did Cody twice. Revenge trade. Here, Momo. Yay. Do, 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 do. Great recovery here. And not my fault. That stupid stock. Just, you know, what can I say? Sucked us in. Let's see if we can get this through 38. Gosh, I should have taken more. <clears throat> Did anybody do the ad in there? Trader NC did the ad. 
Big trade for you. All right, 28 cents from the number. Let's just look at this whole thing. For some reason, I think this could really rock and roll though. So this is $3. Today we're at $2. Yeah, I did really like this. But I asked you guys for ideas. 37. Is that crazy? Chara Singer did the ad too. Wow. Here we go, Momo. And all is right in the world again. All right, let's just look here. Yep, look at this nonstop market. Higher, higher, higher. This could be the big turnaround day for lots and lots of things. Okay, Momo, here it is. First exit, 38, though, if it hits it, if you want to get out. I'm going to try to see if it breaks it. Here, 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 Momo. This is happening very fast, 946. This is a nice trade. Uh, 38.11. 38, 11, 946. Rumi's out on the thank you. You're welcome. Chinchilla's out too. Not taking any chances. Here, Momo. The market looks like it could pull back in here now, but in the next 15 minutes, we might get a little bit of red in the market with the Momo down. But you could be out. Oh, Susanna got out of it too. That stock opened four minutes late, and that sucks. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. I, I just, they, they, the stocks should have to open by 9:30. That's when the market opens. I've done, I've done a great job all year with not getting sucked into those, those late opens. And today we got creamed. You can't tell anymore with volume, even. 38.10, 38.12. Dollar bills out, made 800 bucks. Look for a second trade. That's okay. You could do that too. Smooth traders out as well. Chinchilla has profit with the two trades. Did you redo the, uh, whatchamacallit? The Cody? Ooh, look at this market. That's why you don't play in the opposite direction of something like for without a reason. Again, you could have shorted the market on Thursday. It was a gap down. I actually don't think it would have rated well. And it broke late. So actually, no. You know, you could have theoretically, but would I have known? I didn't call the market that way anyways. And it was a late break. But... You know, look at how the market's really going to flip around and people are going to get crushed because they really thought the market was turning. And even after today's green day, no matter how we trade, people will still think we're lower. But I honestly think we're going to hold, which I've said every day for the last three days. And even said on Thursday. And the, the, we, we broke too late Thursday for that to be real. You're up 1,070? Good job. Market is just keep going, which is fine, but I'm still in this thing. This, uh, I'm never trading this again. All right, here we go, Momo. Oh, smooth trader. Here, here, Momo. We'll talk about them both when we're done here. Momo, Momo. I think it was 38.11, 38.12. Let's look. 12, 38.12. Seven streams, it's your first thousand dollar day. Congratulations. Good job, seven streams. And you're so new. Thirty-eight 
I'm waiting for one more push in this, which I, we're gonna get. So one more, do. Marcus just taking off like a rocket. Like an absolute rocket. Okay, Momo, here we go. Under the low Momo here, we're gonna do it right now. Who's still in this with me? Here we go. Under 38. Let's see. We're 37.50. That's not unrealistic. 9.51. Okay, pay attention. Here we go. Under 38, Momo. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Free Mavericks out. Okay. It got to the target. You could be out. <gasps> That's what I wanted to see. Yes, Momo. Maybe I shouldn't ask people what they like anymore and just go with what I like. <laughs> I feel bad for myself. Here, Momo. Here, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Do, 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 do. Good day. All right, congratulations. I still think this could go to $37.50, $37. Great train. Woo. Mark Webber got out a dollar earlier. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. What do you got for the day, Mark Mobile? Here. I still think this looks great, but I couldn't hold it any longer. Seven minutes until ten o'clock. Nice trade. Thirty-seven fifty. Thirty-seven. This could go. This could give it another dollar. I held it down one more push, which is what I wanted to do. Good recovery for me today. Maybe I just write a letter and report these people. <laughs> This sucks. I mean, this absolutely was a waste of a thing. Should we do one more trade today? What can we do? So this actually rallied over the high immediately. And this will be the low of the day in the market. We will not break to 43.55 in the SPY. It ain't gonna happen. Let's look at Foot Locker. I don't think there's anything to do from the continuations. Fran? Nope, not even Fran today. Here it goes. Look, this broke again. Momo, is anyone still in it? 37.50 is in sight. I'm all out. I'm okay with that. I did a great job. Good recovery, but this, this is continuing. Yeah, nice recovery is right. What is this? Club 31 made 770. Good job. Yep, here it is. It went 3756. It went to the target, people. Honestly, 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 I would be out. Wow. It's if if you're not out, you're bar by barring it. But I would be out. I got out a little bit before that. Uh, man, this is a nice trade. What do you mean? Why the sell off? Here it goes. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Momo's gonna break 50. Is anyone still in this at all? Wow. Is anyone in the world still in Momo? Write it in the room. Okay, Mark Momo's asking a very good question. They beat estimates. Okay, so what? We don't look at that. Here, Momo, it's gonna go to 37. Crap, I should have held it. Is that even still in it? Mary is still in it. Mary, I would get out. I really would. Is this Mary's first trade? 
Mark Noble, you should know by now that the fact that it beat estimates has nothing to do with anything at all. We don't even look at that when we rate the gap. So I don't look at those things. I would never have known that. You're telling me beat estimates. Do you see why fundamentals don't tell you the whole story here as far as how to play the stock on the day to trade it or anything at all? So, you know, no one's mentioned anything like that in a while because I don't think people generally look at that stuff in the room. I know that you do, but, but, but no. So that has nothing to do with anything. There's plenty of times that stuff also gaps up on a, a, a negative report and rallies too. Smooth Trader says it's about expectations and sentiment. You can tell what something's doing based on the price, which is live right now. And so that's what we know. Let's see where this ended up going. 37.32, 37.29. Wow, what a move. All right, hold on. Let's go over the whole thing here. 